Good morning, everyone. Daniela here. Um, sorry, I just woke up just a little while ago. I have, I've had one cup of coffee this morning. Um, so this video, uh, I'm going to talk about um, our pronouns. Um, when you're transgender, the pronouns come into a really good, you know, great deal of effect, you know, as you want to feel the um, sex that you'd like to be referred as. Um, you know, when I first be, uh, came out as transgender, um, I knew it would take people time to get used to the idea. Um, but uh, I think it really came about more, um, I want to say like concrete as when my name changed legally. Um, you know, I thought uh, when I you know, changed my name. I, you know, I was hoping my, my dad and my brother kept calling me by my birth name. And I talked to my stepmom and I said, you know, it does hurt my feelings a little bit inside that, you know, they're calling me by my birth name. My name's legally changed. Um, my dad has really gotten really good with it, surprisingly, of calling me Daniela or like some people call me Danny. He doesn't call me Danny. Um, mm -hmm. My coworker, she calls me Danny. Um, but she's been calling me Danny even before my name was legally changed because she knew that's what I wanted to be called. She knew that I was transitioning. She knew it would be concrete. And she knew she wouldn't have to um, take so long to get used to the idea. So she just started doing it. And she she's the one that's done it the most. Um, I think besides my roommate. Um, sorry, I got a little bit of a sniffle. Um, my brother still calls me by my birth name. And I, I've talked to him and I've said... You know, I've asked him, could you try? And he really didn't say anything. And like when he calls me or I call him, he still calls me um, by my birth name. He still calls me his brother. And it just, inside I get this sick feeling right in my stomach. And I'm just like, ugh, you know. I understand that it takes time. But I'd really like it if he would try. And I'm going to try and talk to him again and say, hey, you know, I'm Daniela. Um, I am female. Like, I'd like you to use the correct pronouns, or at least try to, you know. So, um, like, I know a lot of people at my work, um, oh my god, my nose, I need tissues somewhere along the line. Um, people at my work, I've heard them say she or her, um, which makes me feel great, and it'll make anybody who's transgender feel good. So, whether you're male to female or female to male, you know, the correct pronouns go a long way. Um, I mean, one of the proudest facts that I have gone through with transitioning is that on my driver's license, it says F for female under the sex part of your driver's license. You know, I look at that every day and I'm just like, wow, that's amazing. Oh my God, my throat sounds so horrible too. Uh, uh. Um, anyway, um... You know, if you're not really sure about how to go about, like, asking friends or family um, about, you know, using the correct pronouns, you know, simply saying, hey, you know, I would like you to refer to me as, um, you know, the, the pronouns that you want and see if they are willing to go with that and see if they can try it. Um, you know, so, like I said, it's been taking... My brother, like I said, I don't know if he's going to or not, but I really like him to. Um, uh, you could try, you know, making yourself, I don't want to say more out there, if that makes sense. Um, you know, like currently, like I know some people still look at me and they're like, oh, you know, she's transgender, but she doesn't look like full female. Um, well, that kind of hurts, too, um, because I do try very hard, you know. Um, there are days where I wear makeup and, like, I look really good. And then this morning, like, I, I don't have anything on. Um, sometimes I don't really wear makeup that much because I've been kind of not allowed to, like, at work. You know, I've been told that I can't, which, I mean, is wrong, but... Also, I sweat a lot because of the job I have, so it's kind of like I don't want to wear makeup and sweat and have it just go down my face. Um, but, um, you know, if someone's not willing to 
call you the correct pronouns, you could try and go to a support group and maybe they can come up with some ideas to help you out, talk to your therapist, your doctor, or whatever. You know, like I said, sitting down and having a heart-to-heart -heart with your friends and family and just saying, hey, I would like you to refer to me as, you know, get it concrete in there. And, you know, um, some people ask, oh, well, what if I forget? And it's like, for me, I would tell people, well, if you forget and you slip up, I will kindly remind you. I'm not going to snap at you and be like, oh, you just called me uh, him or he or whatever. You know, I'm going to just politely correct you and say, hey, I'm, you know, I mean, the when people don't you know, know you, like especially people out in public, it's a little harder because, I mean, when I went to the concert back in July, um, I heard somebody refer to me as, uh, sir, and I had to correct him, and I just said, um, sorry, I'm her, not him, you know, and they're like, oh, okay, and they were kind of like, Neh. um, that's why I love the shirt that I have, um, I'll find it for you guys, but, um, it's a shirt with, um, the transgender symbol, and on the back it says, um, question my gender, um, because I think a lot of people make the assumption, like, a lot of people assume things like perfect example um, this past week I was um, cleaning the bathroom at work and I guess two women needed to use the restroom or had a question about something and they said excuse me and I turned around and I answered their question and then one of them says are you a um, man or a woman and I responded with I am a female and she goes oh well sorry sometimes people um, don't look like their um, sex, their gender. Um, and I was like, well, I'm female. And like, oh, well, she was like, I get mistaken for a guy all the time. And it was just like, there was this like awkwardness because she and this other lady stood there for kind of a couple minutes watching me and looking at me. And I was just like, felt really awkward. Um, now they didn't know me, but it was just kind of like, I felt really uncomfortable. But I let them know that I was female. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure they could probably th they were thinking, um, questioning, which is fine. Some people do; they question and they ponder or whatever. But I mean, you're not gonna get everyone to be on board with it. Like the people out in public, like I said, they don't know you like your family and your friends do, or your coworkers. So it's a little bit harder. But if you work on the people that matter the most, that's what what should matter the most. Um, when I go to the doctors up north, um, I just very feminine, as I always do now, um, since I have um, came out as transgender. Um, and I'm pretty sure people see me walking around the hospital or in the doctor's office, and they their heads turn and whatever. But guess what? You can't let, you know, strangers get to you about your pronouns. Because, I mean, yeah, if it's... If you're, like, at the coffee shop or something, and... Um, the cashier says, oh, thank you, come again, sir. You know, it's like, you can't really freak out on them, you know, obviously. But, you know, you can say, um, I'm, um, uh, miss or her, she, you know. So, you gotta take it in graduals, um, out in, um, out in public. Sorry, I'm rambling a little bit, I'm still trying to wake up. Ooh. And it's only halfway through the week. I just gotta survive today and tomorrow, then I have the weekend off, thank God. Um, so this is my video about pronouns. Um, if um, you have any questions or whatever, um, if you feel to email me, leave a comment, like and subscribe to this um, channel, um, like this video, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys on the flip side.